Uh, hi everyone. Um, my name is Olga. I'm a research associate at INSEAD Business School here in Singapore. And today I will be talking about data cleaning. Uh, about one year ago, when moving to Singapore was just a dream for me, uh, my husband told me an interesting story about Singaporean MRT. He said that Singaporean trains were stopping in tunnels seemingly for no reason. And the transport company couldn't figure out why it happens uh, until they started working with a group of data scientists. And this group using only data set provided them by SMRT and data analysis were able to solve the puzzle. So, if you want to do data analysis, you will probably go through these steps. First, you, you will be collecting data. This is something Yulin just demonstrated. <laughs> uh, then you get raw data. After that, it will be data cleaning phase. And that's something I'm going to talk about. Only after that, you start data analysis. You would probably want your data look like this. This is an Excel spreadsheet where every single row is exactly one observation and every single column is exactly one variable. This is organized as a matrix, making it easy to import to R, Python or other programming language for further analysis. But usually the data you get is not so nice. Raw data might look like this. Uh, raw data comes in many different ways. It can be a complicated JSON from an API. It can be an Excel spreadsheet you get from a company you're working with. It can be a database dump. It can even be manually entered data. With raw data, you need to figure out its structure and extract the relevant parts. For today, for data cleaning, we will be using a Python library called Pandas. Here you can see Wes McKinney, the developer of Pandas. He sees Pandas as a tool more powerful than Excel, but still accessible for people without hardcore computer science background. Pandas is super popular and this diagram shows that 1% of all Stack Overflow questions are about Pandas. And one more thing before we start coding. Uh, the main data structure we are going to use today is Pandas data frame. Pandas data frame is a two-dimensional labeled data structure with columns of potentially different types. Remember the tidy data slide with columns as variables and rows as observations? That's exactly what Pandas data frame is. Let's go down to coding. Please open your notebooks. I mean, Jupyter Notebooks. And the first notebook we are going to use is Data Cleaning SG. 
Is it, is it small or should I do the screen bigger? And first thing I want to ask you to do is restart and clean output. But this is only for the case if you have downloaded the files Yuvin has generated. Because otherwise you won't have all the outputs. So run this if you went through Yuvin steps. Now we have only code without any outputs. And first dataset we are going to clean today is Singaporean disease dataset. And our goal is to have a table where for each year week and disease we would have total number of cases in Singapore. Any questions? Good. Um, let's, let's run. Let's import this first. And then read the data set. Here, here it is. Uh, it's almost the same as we need, but we don't have country column and year we column is not split it is combined into one column year in week so first step is very simple we just create a new column singapore and print first five rows from the data frame here it is, you see the new column. Next step is a bit more involved. We need to split year week column into two columns. And first, <coughs> let's practice with split function. What it does, it takes one, one string and it splits, splits the base string into two parts everything to the left from the past argument and everything to the right so when we run this cell you see that variable a has first and variable b has second now let's do the same for our data frame See, we have two new columns. Column here has everything to the left from minus W. And column week has everything to the right. So we know how to create new columns. Let's see how to remove the unneeded. We just call drop function and we do it in place because we don't want to create a new data frame. We change the existing. And one last thing. Here you see I was printing not the first five rows but the row starting from 110. I did it to show that there are some weak values be with leading zeros. Uh, we don't need these zeros and now we will remove it. Uh, we will be using lstrip function. Let's practice with it. Uh, I have created a test string with many many zeros and 65 and when I call lstrip 
and pass zero argument, it removes everything from the left. Every zero. And we do the same for our data frame. Here you can see column week doesn't have zeros anymore. And we save the results into a CSV file. That's all. So we we just cleaned Singapore data frame data set, sorry. And now let's open a bit more complicated one. This is Dengi data set for Malaysia. And our goal is a bit different. Here we want to have a breakdown by region and we, ha we have only one disease, Dengue fever. We import pandas again. And let's take a look at this data set. Pandas can also read Excel files. Here it is. This data frame is very long. And now I'll explain how this data organized. For each year from 2010 to 2015, we have a rectangular block. That's long. And every row from this block is a region and every column is a week. And every cell is the number of cases in this region during that week. Uh, NA and NAN means that data is not available. Uh, today I'm going to show how to clean one block for year 2010, the rest years can be done similarly. Uh, first, I defined slice parameters. Uh, parameter skip rows means how much rows we want to skip from the beginning of the file. Parameter skip footer means how much lines we want to skip from the bottom of the file. And parse calls means how many columns we want to read from the file. Here it is. Now we have only data for block for year 2010. We are going to reshape this data frame and for reshaping, we're going to use a function called melt. Let's practice with melt a bit for the beginning. Here I, I created a data frame, a simpler one. Each row in this data frame is student and it has three columns for three different subjects. And every cell, every cell is, is a grade of the student in this subject. From this data frame, we want to create another data frame which would have one row for every cell in this original data frame. To do so, we call melt with var name subject, value name grade, and id var student. Now, melt creates from white data frame a tall data frame. 
So mm -hmm. for every cell in the original data frame, we have one row with three columns, students, subject, and grade. And not, now we'll do the same for our manager data frame. Repeat again what we have. We call melt, but this time instead of subjects we have weeks, instead of grades we have cases, and instead of students we have regions. Here it is. It's only five, five rows, but it is not white anymore, it is tall. Uh, now we want to remove the not available values. We just call drop NA and we do it in place again. Now you see there are no NA anymore, but the values. But as you can notice, the indexing changed. It was from zero, now it is from 105. To reset the indexing, we, we call reset index function. So the indexing starting from zero again. Here we're just adding a bunch of new columns. Year, country and disease. They are static. And one more thing left. Um, for the week column, there is Malaysian week and number in values, but we don't need the repeating week word. So we call a function which takes last two non-white space characters and they correspond to, to the number of the week. It is. And we rename Negri column to region column. Here it is. It's done. Thank you. <laughs> Questions?